a serious health scare for actress Olivia Munn. The actress revealing that she had a double mastectomy last year after she was diagnosed with an aggressive, fast-moving breast cancer. The 43-year-old credited her doctor with saving her life, writing in part, quote, I wouldn't have found my cancer for another year at my next scheduled mammogram, except that my OBGYN decided to calculate my breast cancer risk assessment score. The fact that she did saved my life. At 43 years old, Munn's diagnosis is a reminder for all women to be proactive with their health. Joining us now to discuss is Dr. Elizabeth Komen, a breast oncologist at Memorial Sloan Kettering. Doc, good to see you. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. So Olivia Munn had mentioned that her breast cancer risk assessment score. Can you explain exactly what that is and should all women be asking their doctors about it now? Yes, so this is a score that helps to calculate your lifetime risk of breast cancer. And in Olivia's case, this was really critical because it signaled to her doctor that she may benefit from additional breast cancer screening in the form of an MRI, which ultimately caught her cancer. And so we absolutely recommend that women talk to their doctors about their personal individual risk of breast cancer and in turn what imaging may be appropriate for them. If I could ask you, how is this score calculated and what, like, let's say, might elevate one woman's risk more than another woman's? Sure. So it's a statistical model based on, depending on which model you use, age, whether you've had any prior biopsies, your family history in particular, if you have first degree relatives that have a history of breast cancer, as well as the age of your first period and when you first had a child, if you did have a child. And that's where family history becomes really important, whether you've had history of breast cancer on your mother's side or your father's side. As far as the percentages of women who will be diagnosed, what are some of the numbers like? And especially if you do have family history, how at risk are women? Well, you can have a family history of breast cancer and never have breast cancer in your life, or you could have no family history and still be diagnosed with breast cancer. It's very important that patients talk to their doctor very specifically about their individual risks. One of the things that we do know, however, is that breast cancer is on the rise in young women. There are other cancers that are on the rise as well, and so talking to your doctor about screening is essential. Uh, aside from annual mammograms, um, you just mentioned that young women are at risk. What what can they do to take control of their health? And I know I just mentioned an annual mammogram. Is, right. is it more proactive to maybe not wait a year for each mammogram? So we recommend for women of average risk that they start screening at age 40 with annual mammograms. Some women may need to start that earlier based on individual risk factors. But we know that there are some things that we can control to also risk reduce our risk of breast cancer or other types of cancers. And that includes maintaining a healthy diet, avoiding processed foods, exercise, limiting alcohol consumption, not smoking. So there are things that we can do to decrease our risk along the way. So a mammogram has always been kind of like the go-to test uh, for, for breast cancer diagnosis. Now with this breast cancer risk assessment score, would you say that's something that people, if they're not already familiar with it, should start being more aware of and start asking questions about that? Absolutely. Talk to your doctor about whether it's appropriate to have that score calculated for yourself and what that means for you for your imaging. Dr. Coleman, thank you so much. Greatly appreciate it. Good to talk with you. Thank you for having me.